From his humble start as a standout performer in the 90s sketch comedy show In Living Color, Jim Carrey has been one of the hottest comedians in Hollywood. With memorable starring roles in Ace Ventura, The Mask, Batman Forever, and Dumb and Dumber. Want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Carey proved himself as one of the best physical comedians of the 1990s. Even his turns in dramatic roles, like The Truman Show and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, were met with huge critical success. But whether you've enjoyed him in big-budget comedies or surreal dramas, for some reason he's been seen on screen less and less in recent years. So, why won't Hollywood cast Jim Carrey anymore? Box Office Confusion Back in the day, Carrey's films were surefire box office hits, but his more recent films have been less of a guarantee. His more critically acclaimed films don't make a ton of money, and his most profitable films aren't very well loved. While Dumb and Dumber 2 performed well at the box office, earning about $130 million over its budget, reviews were unkind. And non-franchise films like The Incredible Burt Wonderstone and I Love You Philip Morris weren't financially successful, with Wonderstone losing $3 million amid negative reviews and Philip Morris only making a $7 million profit despite largely positive reviews. Studios want to star with a predictable box office draw before betting on a big-budget film. Despite his talents, no one can be sure if the next Carrie film will lay an egg. He's not winning awards. By the early 2000s, Carrie earned four Golden Globe nominations and two wins in a short period of time. You know, when I go to sleep at night, I'm not just a guy going to sleep. I'm two-time Golden Globe winner Jim Carrey going to get some well-needed shut-eye. But unfortunately, he hasn't been nominated for a major award since 2004's Eternal Sunshine at the Spotless Mind. And even though there was some critical buzz for I Love You, Philip Morris, he missed out on all the major ceremonies. Carrey's biggest major awards recognition since then was a Razzie nomination for Worst Actor in the number 23. Razzie-winning actors have turned it around before, but they're not always exactly what casting directors are looking for. Controversial Beliefs Since his relationship with Jenny McCarthy, Carey has been vocal about his stance on vaccines, which he's called poison, and referred to pro-vaccine California Governor Jerry Brown as a corporate fascist who must be stopped. While he's entitled to his personal beliefs, it can be risky for a studio to go with an actor who could alienate audiences with his political comments, especially those relating to public health. In addition to that, Carey spoke out against his own film Kick-Ass 2 in 2013, after coming to the realization that the ultra-violent comic made him uncomfortable because of recent school shootings. Again, speaking out for your beliefs, admirable. But this particular stand wasn't something that the studio's promotional tour managers probably wanted to hear. It wouldn't be surprising if other studios took notice. Lawsuit Trouble As of the making of this video, Carrie is fighting against wrongful death suits filed by the mother and ex-husband of his former girlfriend, Catriona White, who died of an intentional drug overdose in 2015. White's family alleges that Carrie knowingly gave their daughter sexually transmitted diseases, lied to her, threatened her, gave her the drug she overdosed on, and then broke up with her to protect his public image. Carrie responded in a statement saying, I will not tolerate this heartless attempt to exploit me or the woman I loved. He further called the allegations irrelevant, false, and improper, and a shameless shakedown for money. It's entirely possible that Carrie's free time might be getting sucked up by dealing with putting these lawsuit issues behind him. Behind the Camera More recently, Carrie has been spending more time behind the camera, working as the creative and executive producer of the Showtime series I'm Dying Up Here. The series draws from Carrie's experiences as a stand-up comic, starring Melissa Leo as the owner of a comedy club in the 1970s. Carrie doesn't act in the show, but he's been actively promoting the project and working on it behind the scenes. And Carrie seems like he's pretty happy with life away from the spotlight, saying during a press panel at the Television Critics Association that he's in the process of shedding layers of persona at this time in my life. I'm very happy to be here for these guys and watch these guys enter this world and create these characters. How he can turn it around. For Carey, the secret to turning his career around could lie in returning to the small screen. His appearance on 30 Rock and The Office made waves. I want the job. I really do. It's just the rest of my family's in the Finger Lakes right now. I'm supposed to be in the Finger Lakes right now. So it's clear that if he doesn't have the box office bang required to sell a blockbuster anymore, there's plenty of room to return to TV, where he could be a big fish in a smaller pond. Who wouldn't want to see Jim Carrey in a regular role on TV again? Like many stars, a hit show could help revitalize his career, and maybe even lead him back to bigger movie roles in the future. Hey, take a leap, pal! That's the spirit! Thanks for watching. 
Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.